What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Eat with Patrick Blackwood. And guess who I have here today with me? The real foreign baby, of course. She is the foreign baby for real, for real. Definitely She's is. actually not from here. Yeah. Literally. People say that, but they don't be foreign. Yeah. And I'm the real foreign baby. I'm the one to tell you I'm foreign. All right, so this is what we have here today, guys. We have Akian Sawfish. She never had this. This is a Jamaican dish, so she's African, actually. So yes. I am putting her on some my cuisine. Mm -hmm. I eat back home in my roots. Yes. Some Akian Sawfish. I got my boiled potatoes, dumpling. What do you call dumpling? Fufu? Basically, it's fufu. Yeah. What are you adding fufu to Fufu with soup. And you swallow it, it just goes down. You don't have to chew. Some people chew. Right. But they just, mm, it's one gulp. Oh, damn. Literally. Okay. Got boiled banana. We got some strawberries. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have a good time, man. We're going to go ahead and pray this thing up. And it really smells delicious, too. Looks oh, and smells. And you guys go ahead and click on the like share and subscribe as well i see 40 percent have you guys not subscribed yet we always be halfway there you know what i'm saying we have halfway we got 50 percent subscribe 40 come on now let's get everybody to subscribe okay For so sure. let's go ahead and pray this thing up okay. amen Okay. All right, go ahead and uh, you want to okay. go ahead and try that thing. Yeah, I'll try. I think I'm gonna try the fish first. Yeah, go ahead. Fish. You should try the fish with the aki, with, with the dumpling and everything, because it's actually really good. So, All together? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So what you do is you see the banana. Mm -hmm. You take it out from the actual skin, right? The pillar. Yeah. Yeah, the pillar skin, whatever, and then um. So you know, go ahead and break it down right here. Mm -hmm. We have a little bit of dumpling. Let's see, it'll bring you back in your memory to your own, your Dish. own culture. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, yeah, see? For sure. And then... Um, a little bit. For sure. I don't take. cook it, though, so it's kind of embarrassing. Oh, I can't break this. So, yeah. Patrick. You want me to help you? Yes, please. Let Can me do you. it. Right. I need manpower. There you go. Manpower. There Thank you. you. Okay, so I'm eating the dumpling with, with the, the hockey. all this and the bananas at yeah. the same time. Yeah, I'm trying to break it down. Okay, break it down. I'm clumsy, y'all. Don't pay oh, me no mind. Oh, what no. do you mean? Oh God. Okay. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Don't pay me no mind. <laughs> I'm just foreign baby, spoiled baby. Y'all, my mo my mother nurtured me for way too long, so. We're gonna get it together, y'all. Don't Disregard worry. Disregard the stuff I do. Okay. Go ahead and try it. Okay, let's try right. it together. We're gonna try it together, right? Even though you know how it tastes. Of but... course. Okay. So, right here. Go. Okay. Mm. It's good. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. That is good. Don't you? Now, we used to eat this like, this is good for like early mornings or if you want to like have a nice little easy way out for like dinner. This is easy to bring This the, the easy yeah. way? It's not bad. So how long do it take to cook? Realistically, because you have to uh, make sure that the actual saltfish mm -hmm. is boiled down so you can take the extra salt out of it. Mm -hmm. And then it tastes about within like 25, 30 minutes. It's not bad. That's a quick dish, yeah. It's not bad at all. Because, you know, the salt from the saltfish, the ankhi itself, you don't want to add too much salt mm -hmm. to the ankhi because it gets all the salt from the saltfish. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. So you don't want to over season it, basically. Right. Yeah. It's a foreign thing. Y'all wouldn't understand. I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, uh, no. Trust me. They understand. I mean, I got people from Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Got people from Germany, the UK. Big up to the UK because they, they're really big with Jamaicans. Really? And also, they're big on Africans, too. You oh, know that? no, I didn't know that. Oh, shoot. Well, well, I'm lying. There is a lot of Africans that live down there. Right. Yeah. The I'm lying. Yeah. For sure. Especially in France, too. Mm-hmm. 
Have you been in France? I haven't been nowhere, Patrick. Jeez. But I have been nowhere out the country since I've been here, since 03. This oh, man. It's kind of sad. I need to hurry up and get my passport and travel the world. Because the world is a beautiful place. Absolutely. And there's a lot to see. So why are you single? Why am I single? Yeah. How do you know if I'm single? Oh, shit. <laughs> How do you know? How do Wait, you know? Wait, Are you single? It's complicated. I don't know what I am. Oh, shit. I don't know what I am. Um. Why did you look that way and eat this? Crazy. I, I didn't know that. Are you side eyes? What was that? So, what's, what's, what's the problem? Why, so, why is it so complicated? Hmm. Why is it so complicated? Okay, I've been dealing with this man for like about two years. Right. He's Muslim. Okay. And, and what are you? Christian. So how that worked out? It works out pretty well between us because he's not forcing anything. He's not forcing me to convert to being a Muslim or anything. He said real Muslims don't do that. Okay, cool. But... I was told in the beginning that eventually he was going to have multiple wives. Mm. <laughs> multiple wives. How you feel about that? I feel kind of weird about that because that's not my culture. I'm not saying in Africa they don't have multiple women, but that's not how I grew up. You know what I'm saying? That's not how I grew up. Right. So I don't know that. So yeah, I've been dealing with him and I met his second wife. You did? Yeah. How was that? It's kind of weird because I didn't want to, but I did for the simple so, fact I've been dealing with him. So, so like, his wife was cool with it? I mean, he said wife. He's not married now, but he just calls it wife. If anything, I'm the first wife. She's really the second. Mm, okay. And I'm trying to be cool with it. And we click very well. We click very well. We're like the same person. Same personality. The same, wife. Yeah. The second wife. Same way of doing. Same body shape. Everything is about the same. Which is strange. It's like, so, you guys could be a great family. That's what he thinks? I think it's a great idea. Uh -huh. I think it's great. <laughs> that's what he thinks. I mean, as of for right now, it's going well. But there's a lot of complications behind it not easy because she hasn't did her this herself and i haven't did this either so it's like a lot of complications so at times i just don't know what i am but i mean is he keeping it real he claims he keeps it real but i think he's telling us two different things is it he goes like different ways he go about different ways what do you mean like he would tell me this to protect my feelings and he would mm. tell her something else to protect her feelings Mm. But I feel like keeping a buck. He said he is, and he would never lie. But I feel like he's lying. Yeah. Damn. I wish I had something like that. <laughs> you wish you had something like that. I said I want three wives. You want three wives? Yeah. You do? Can you handle that? Yeah. You can handle that. Yeah. You have the funds for that. Yeah. Because you have to take care of home. If you're gonna. Yeah. I believe you have the funds for that, but people say that and they can't really take care of the home. No, I can. I believe I can you cook, can. Clean. For sure. I believe you can. Yeah, you do. I mean, I, I, cook, feel like, sure. I feel like, I feel like, I'll be real with you. And I feel like society make it seem like you're supposed to be with one woman. Mm -hmm. But with a real man nature and their hunting nature, real their real instinct, they're telling bullshit lies. They're telling bullshit lies. Yeah, I'm not saying that man cannot be loyal to one woman. Mm -hmm. They can for sure. But when a man say like, "Oh, it's gonna be us," that's a lie. Sometimes they they have the instinct just to look around and still search and be high premise. Just like a woman would do too. They would, still, sure. they would still search, whatever. But the man is kind of like, they get caught up with that shit a lot. Yeah, you're not lying. 
So that's the reason why I can't say I'm full monogamy. Mm -hmm. Because I don't want to sit here and lie to you, anybody and say, hey, I'm going to be here for you and just for you when my mind's like, damn, it's, she's hot. Damn. Maybe I want to. You want to try her? See how it is with her? And, and, he, and that's the truth, though. You know, he told me, like, I'm like, and why do you love her? He's like, I love y'all for different reasons. He's well, like, shit, if you keep in the butt like that. I'm like, I don't, I don't get it. Like, am I not enough? I don't want to say like that, but that's, that's how I asked him. Like, am I not enough? He was just like, it's not that. It's just, I love y'all for different reasons. He's like, he can love more than one person. And that's the truth. That's crazy though. And that's the truth. It's crazy. I find it very crazy. So I'm just like, yeah. Why not? So you feel the same way. You feel like you can love more than one person. Yeah. But I'd rather loyalty than anything else though. Yeah. If you could give it a buck, a thousand, I don't care if it hurts my feelings. At least give me the choice. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, he said he wasn't forcing nothing either. There you go. He was not forcing us to say it's a choice. Um, but there's more. There's more females in the woodworks. So if I that, believe it. <laughs> that makes it more harder. I believe it. It makes it more harder because... He's testing the water. I, I done build a relationship with this female. You expect me to build a, a relationship with three other females like it's a lot of females to so, bond with and i don't so, like people out. in real life i don't want to how say how many like wives that. that he wants to have i'm thinking in total right now just probably four four in total four or five in total he's from africa no he's american he's muslim he's american he's american he's from here no he's from chicago Really? Yeah, but he's Muslim. Shit. It's he, a lot, Patrick. It's a lot. I mean, shit, he, he, he on it. <laughs> he's, a very, he's a very, he's a very attractive man, so. Well. But, I approached him first in his DMs. Oh. I didn't think he was going to hit me back. And he hit you back and. He hit me back and he was just like. It was on Facebook. Oh, no. And he's not a really a um, social media type person. He's just purposely on there for, like, family or business. Right. Whatsoever the case may be. And he was like, it must have been Allah that I text you back because I don't reply to nobody. So I jumped in his DMs. And we just been kicking it off since then. But when we first met, I was the only female. We had got into it and took a break for probably a good month. Right. And after that month... That's when I found out about another female. He told you? He told me. He told me. So, let me ask you this. Would he see the other female when you guys were together? Or he told you when he was about to see this female? Um, yeah, I think it happened during the break. Most likely during the break. Okay, okay. It was during the break. Okay. And yeah. Okay. But the other female approached him too. He, I, I think he's too good to approach females, or whatever he thinks he's too good at, or something. But he don't do approaching for some reason. I don't know. But well, so it's just it's a confusing thing. That's why I say I don't, I don't know. I don't know. You know, that's why when you said that, I don't know what it is. You know what I'm saying? Because wow. he he wants me to be okay with him having other females but i'm top dog though you feel me i'm the youngest but i'm top dog hmm. i'm top dog you know what i mean i feel you i'm top dog yeah so i i really want uh want three you want three yeah we could be the brady bunch <laughs> so if i do have kids the kids could have their brothers and sisters mm -hmm. the wives will have girlfriends they can go and do their nails together. That's what he think too. We're supposed to bond. 
But like I said, me and the other girl, we're, we're, we're really bonding. It's weird. See, Literally, see, so, see, so I, he, 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 he got a sh molded. <laughs> More power to him. More power to him. No, no power to him at all. <laughs> no power to him what? at all. What? He don't deserve the power. Hey, at least he keep it a buck. Yeah, he's keeping the buck. I'm just saying he's being honest. And he gave you the choice. He did. I'm still there. There's times where I leave. There you go. And come back. There you go. I don't because left and came back so many times. You probably went test the waters a little bit. Um, not really. I just feel like at times I can't do without him. I don't know mm. why I feel that way. Mm. I don't know why I feel that way. Well, I mean, as long as he's treating you good, that's all that matters, right? Yeah. I, <laughs> yeah, he treat, he, he's a good man. That's all that matters. He's a good man. That's what I'm saying, too. Sure. He's as honest as he can be, but sometimes I don't believe him. He don't give me that. He, he's lying, though, but he's just saying two different things to protect feelings. And I feel like, don't protect my feelings. Tell me what it is. For real, for real. I agree. Yeah. You tore yours up. It was so good. It was good. It's good. It's really good. It just hit just so right. Just imagine. That. Inside a patty. Mmm. And we got this thing called cocoa bread. Cocoa bread? It tastes like chocolate? No. So it's like, um, it's like hard over bread. Really? Yeah. It's like inside, you can put the patty inside the, the hard over bread mm -hmm. and you eat it and it's so good. It's not gonna be good. It's so good. So, yeah, I mean, me, Nah, man. What? I just feel like I gotta have the right structure of mm -hmm. females. And I, for, for me, like, my wife gotta be a different race. She gotta be a different race? Why is that? Best of all worlds. Well, yeah. That's true. That's you how have I feel. Mixed babies. I gotta have my sis. I, got one, I gotta have one of my sisters. Mm hmm. My African queen. And then I gotta have me a Latino. Mm, do I Latinos? Mm hmm. And then I gotta have, um, I was just stuck in between, but I'm gonna I'm go with my Asian persuasion. You know what I'm saying? Asian like, persuasion. Yeah. Mm, I like that. <laughs> I got to. I got to. Don't blame me. Combine that together. Make that a true force. But would you want them in the same bedroom at the same time? Why not? <laughs> It'd be one big old family. Oh my God. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> oh man. I feel you though. Biggest turn on when you see a guy that you like. Okay, better yet. When you first saw, when you hit on that guy, what's the first thing that attracts you to him? Body. It was his body. Right. Just kind of thuggish. Mm. <laughs> it's kind of thuggish. I don't know. I don't like men for money, but he, he had a big bag. I don't like men for money, though, but that was just a plus. And he got grills in his mouth. I say straight teeth, but he has grills. Okay. I don't know. He never really showed his personality, so I couldn't say personality because, like I said, he wasn't like a social media person. But it was like his body type. And money was a plus, but not necessarily money. Okay. And he was handsome, well-groomed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so stuff like that. That's, that's dope. What, yeah, that's what made me attracted to him. And, like, the conversation was, like, 
because I like older people. I want somebody that's older than me and to like teach me something. I want to learn. Yeah, you want somebody to lead and yeah, and I want to I want to follow. I want to learn from you. What can you teach me? Right. Yeah. So that the conversation and like he was big on credit. Like he's so big on credit. So he was teaching me how to build my credit and just financial literacy and stuff like that. So you know okay. what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, that's dope. That's dope. Yeah. Yeah, it's always good to have somebody that can really teach you something. Mm-hmm. So, especially like so stuff like that yeah especially you trying to get into your own thing your independence and mm -hmm. branching out to have your own business and stuff like that i think mm -hmm. that's pretty dope yeah i agree i agree it was all good i told you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you did i told you but i told you i ate a little bit earlier so excuse you me like, if i don't finish it off you like yo yeah it's it's good Especially with the dumpling. Mm -hmm. Eighty one. You know why? It is your big one. Your biggest one. What? You did that? Oh With yeah. The dish. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. I did that. And then the sweet potatoes. What? And the bananas. With that, what? Amazing. Very amazing. Amazing. That's pretty dope. Mm hmm. But I wanted something like that. I want a big old family with three wives. Three wives. That's a lot of people to take care of. It's a lot of responsibilities. But when it comes to like the kids and I guess it helps being a big family like that because daycare is expensive. It is. But not only that, I feel like the things that I know now, I feel like I can really give them my knowledge and, mm -hmm. and teach them and uh, make them be themselves. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, I can get them to be programmed and do whatever they want to be regardless of what it is. For sure. If they want to be a goddamn plumber, they're going to be the best at it. Be a plumber. What? For sure. Yeah. They make a lot of money. Have your own plumbing business, yes. For sure. Hell yeah, it does. My ex high school sweetheart, uh, stepfather was like a millionaire. He's a, he owns this plumbing business. Really? Yeah. How long were you with her? I would say seven years off and on. That's a long time. Yeah. It was. Do you mind me to asking toxic, what happened? Toxic relationship, though. Toxic? Yeah. Why you say that? Um, we went we went through a lot. That was like that was puppy love. I call that puppy love. Real talk. Yeah. Um, it's something that we we loved each other for sure, and we did a lot of things together, and it was just toxic at the same time. We didn't know what was right from wrong. And that's what happens when you have kids trying to fall in love and don't know what love is. You go and have tried and error. Yeah. That's true. And then, you know, family got into it and all that That's stuff. always the worst mm -hmm. when the family gets into the, in the middle and it makes gets, it worse. It gets sticky, you know. It did. It but did. Other than that, like, yeah. No, no beef. It. There was no beef. Do like, y'all still talk to this day? Nah. Why is that? It's just... I did try to reach out, but mm -hmm. nah. I mean, we we spoke, mm -hmm. but yeah, I don't think it's a. Uh, I think we're good. We uh, we're good with army life. I probably just say hey and bye. That's it. No beef. Does she live here? Or? Oh no, no, she lives in Florida. Florida. I'm a Florida boy. Oh yeah, you said that. Yeah. You did tell me that. So do you like Georgia? Yeah. Actually, it's at peace now. I, I feel like while well, I was in Florida, I got into a lot of trouble. I was I was fucking around with a lot of girls when I was in Florida because mm -hmm. there was just so many Tauruses and more exotic women and uh, this and that. And more just, than Georgia? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah really? Yeah, yeah, I mean that's you interesting. Know, you you meet a lot of people in Florida, like in different cultures, mm -hmm. because you're closer to sea. So you're gonna see a lot of people from from Haiti, Cuba, from Brazil, from 
Switzerland, from Israel. And, it's very diverse. Um, yeah, you just gonna see a lot of people. Yeah. For sure. But uh yeah, I didn't I wasn't I wasn't focused. And then the the environment that I was in is kinda toxic too, so Really? Yeah. So it just made it like a little worse. You don't have no kids? No kids. That's Single good. man, you know? Bruce Wayne. Oh. I'm really Bruce Wayne. That's, That's the reason good. why I said I want to do That's good. There's nothing wrong with that. You don't have to rush kids. Yeah, I don't want to rush kids, but I do want my own kids, though, for yeah. sure. And adopt, too. You want to adopt? Yeah. That's good. Those kids need that extra love. Yeah, I want to adopt kids. One, one white baby. A white baby? Yeah. Why white? Because I deserve everybody to need, need love, too. Mm -hmm. My opinion, I can make my own seed. Yeah, it could be a mixed baby, but you can you have a real white baby? That's true. Could you have a Chinese baby? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> you can have a mixed baby? Yeah. But, exactly. But, yeah. That's how I feel. This is really good. Oh, yeah, I know. I should have put some spice in it, though. Like, some real, like... See, I, I didn't know if you were going to like spice. I should have asked you though. Yeah, I don't mind spice. It would have been super, super extra, extra, extra. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, I'm sure in my life. Can't, can't complain about anything else. Yeah. Are you currently talking to somebody? No. I'm just extremely focused. I was in a relationship. Yeah. And uh, I fucked it up. You fucked it up? Yeah. What did you do? If you mind telling me. You don't have to. I lied. You lied? Why no. were you lying? I was young. I was immature. Was the on and off relationship you was talking about? No, 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 no. Oh, no, okay. No. no. That's a totally different one. Okay. I fucked up on open relationship. It was an open relationship? And I fucked it up. How do you fuck up an open? I told you. I <laughs> <laughs> It's simple. Like, an open relationship. Yeah, I know. It was, it was stupid. It was clearly stupid, but I was young. I didn't know any better. I was sheltered. I was still dealing with traumatic issues with all of how I was raised, programmed. You know what I mean? So I had to really like dive into myself and understand mm -hmm. what was the problem. Now, you know. Yeah. To not fuck up again. Not just fuck up, but I you. just I just feel like I hold myself more accountability as a man. Yeah. And um, I would never do such a thing like that. There's the reason why I keep it up so much above. Remember when we were talking about when King said, and I'm like, yeah, I don't care if I hurt your feelings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm like that now. Like, I don't care if it hurts your feelings or not. As long yeah. as I keep you the choice, and regardless if it's hurt or not, at least you got the truth. Mm -hmm. And you're not going to only get but the truth. Yeah. You understand? So. That's good. That's how I feel. Like, that's how I want somebody to tell me. Like, I don't care if my if my breast stink. Damn it. I don't care if you have to rank me. It's like, yo, your breast stink. I can't do that. You know what I mean? I should be able to do that, but I just think it's me. Yeah. People say it's me. I get that, but at the end of the day, I bet that motherfucker won't come out there with stink breath. Oh uh, yeah. I bet that. Oh <laughs> yeah. How much you want to bet he he won't never do that? He won't do it again. All right then, so that's the reason why you put his ass on blast. Now he know. Exactly. Not necessarily on blast. Put it on blast. <laughs> <laughs> you put it on blast, and he won't do it again. Ooh. I don't recommend that. Listen. I'm going to tell you a real story. Real talk. Mm -hmm. I remember one time before I left the Winter Trek Republic because I was playing ball out there, right? Mm -hmm. And I had to change my eating habits because there are certain things that I eat made me feel like my body odor was thin. Really? Yeah. 
So that's the reason why I don't eat too much meat. Mm -hmm. So like I stay away from a lot of milk product, dairy product, and all those stuff. Um, I can when I after I sweat so much, mm -hmm. there's like a this this thing like this smell. Like a stench. Yeah. So <clears throat> when I was living with my ex, she was mm -hmm. like, "Yo, oh, you stink as fuck, bro." Oh God. She said it like that. Yeah, like you stink. You stink. So you stink, you stink. Like, <laughs> I, I mean, what do you want me to do? I want, want me to feel bad? I'm like, shit, okay, let me. Like, you can even, even when you wash my clothes, there was like a, a scent. It's still on the clothes? Yeah, because of the, the what, what, you, what you dairy mean? and all that shit. That's what it does. Yeah. So, for me, I had to like change my whole era. So when I went to Czech Republic, mm -hmm. to those peoples, and I, it's a different. It's a little different smell. It was, it's like the same distinguished smell mm -hmm. for certain people. So I was like, damn. And I was like, yo. When she told me that, I had to take pride. I took pride of myself to make sure I smelled good all times. Yeah. Because you never know who you meet. That's true. That's very true. So. And then you, and they smell you and like what the. So after that day, you were told that you. Stank. What? Never again. You never stomp. Never again. <laughs> never again. That's good. So that's all it took. And then you change your eating habits too. Yeah. Wow. I have to. That's major. That's why I believe in like uh <laughs> I remember one time I asked this one girl like, yeah, let me smell your breath. And she was like, What? I'm like, yeah, let me smell your breath. <laughs> because I I take care of my mouth. Mm -hmm. So you didn't want to kiss somebody when you... No, you know when people don't do all sex? Uh, you didn't want to... <laughs> come on, man. I get you. <laughs> I know that. I'm like, come on. I'm going to put my... I come on, man. I get you. Oh. That's how I am. Like, I, Did you I just... smell her breath? Did she let you? Man, she was like, you weird. I'm like... You think I'm weird, but guess what? I mean, shit, that means you didn't take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She was scared. Hell yeah. She probably smell like shit for a dick. Sorry, YouTube. Thousands. <laughs> she got a thousand of uh, things in her mouth. <laughs> no, that's a disclaimer, y'all. Ain't trying to get anybody started, but, uh, that's why I take a good pride of myself to be clean and polished. And anytime I go out, make sure I'm, I look good. You were very clean and polished when I met you. You're clean and polished now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. how I am. That's just, I think that's that's supposed to be the good thing as a man. It You're is supposed a great thing. to be like not that. A, not a lot of men are like clean and polished, trust me. Right. And it's kind of bad. Because they think that's gay. And that's their problem now. Yeah. It's, it's not gay. It's good to get your nails done and be clean. I think having a well put together foot is cute on a man. You know what I'm saying? And no yeah. crust under your heels, all that extra shit. <sighs> yeah. How you feel about hair? Hair? Yeah, like... In the private... Know area or the chest all that how you feel about that i don't care for it it don't creep me out because i know you're a man and that's gonna happen it's gonna be there at times but i like it shaved too so i don't care too much for it okay so what if you're what if the man that you were dealing with right now right mm -hmm. he was the only fans content creator how would you feel about that I can't deal with you if you're only friends content <laughs> But is he dealing with he has two wives right now, right? Mm -hmm. You and the other girl. Mm -hmm. And he said, Hey, I want to do an OnlyFans content career right now with both of Both wives. of us? How that's, do you feel about that? That's different. That's like a threesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's different. But if you just run around, it's different because it's just two of us. But if you just run around 
mess with female after female after female after female just to film a video that's insane <laughs> that's insane but it's well, probably bringing a big bag but who knows but that's not always the case you know what i'm saying yeah i mean uh yeah I feel that. I feel that. Mm -hmm. Well, y'all, this is a wrap. Mm -hmm. I'm still not done, but I'm she's, almost done. She's almost done, but but I'm full though. She's. I don't know how the hell she's eating and she's still full, but oh. I guess she really likes it. It's good. It's like really good. It is a big one. But anything you want to say to her? Um, for the ones that haven't subscribed to his page, please subscribe. Mm hmm. Yes. Um, when I met Patrick, I didn't know he was a content creator. Oh yeah, she didn't know. She didn't know at all. And we but, just uh, recently met though. Yeah, we met like what? Last week? Was it a week? A week and a half ago or so? Something like that. He's an awesome person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was last week. It was last week. So funny. Was because, it last week? Yeah, it's so funny. I locked my damn keys in my trunk. That's another story, y'all. <laughs> but I gotta tell y'all. What? Man, yeah, that day when you left, I Are left my serious? keys in my trunk. Oh my god! Yeah. How did you leave? Um, I had to call somebody to master lock my my car. At that time? Yeah. At night? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, man. Yeah, it was crazy. That's fun. But uh, I didn't get home till two in the morning that night. Oh, that's terrible. And I gotta get up at five. I didn't get up at five. I got up at six. I had to walk my dog, and I was like, "Damn, it sucked." But yeah, life goes on for sure. And we still made it happen anyway. But until next time, y'all, love.